a giant chasm bigger than anything on the North American continent. A place so daunting in scale, no American had yet managed to journey into its depths. A place now known as the Grand Canyon. Today, visitors come to its rim to be thrilled and unnerved. But when early European travelers first stood here, they simply could not comprehend the canyon's enormous scale. While scientists still don't know exactly how the canyon was created, they do know that its story stretches back more than one and a half billion years, thanks to colorful layers of rock that are now exposed in the canyon's walls. The oldest of these is a black rock known as Vishnu Schist. It was created from deposits of volcanic ash, mud, and sand that washed down from ancient mountains. In the hundreds of millions of years that followed, oceans, deserts, and swamps came and went across this part of Arizona, leaving behind more layers of sedimentary rock, so many that they created a giant plateau. Just 250 million years ago, the youngest layer in the canyon's walls was laid down. It's a light-colored stone known as Kaibab limestone. It was only after these deep and colorful rock layers were formed that the Colorado River started carving a giant canyon through the plateau's floor. Feeding it were thousands of tributaries that eroded the landscape even more and helped expose the colorful layers below to create this giant chasm, which reaches, in places, 18 miles from rim to rim. It's a process of erosion that continues, a process that's created some of the canyon's greatest landmarks. From towering rock pinnacles near Temple Butte to deep geological scars known as the Hindu Amphitheater, and soaring above, the Tower of Raw. 